So we would like to begin our debate with a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. Human progress, neither automatic nor inevitable, requires every step towards the goal of justice, which requires sacrifice, uh, suffering, and struggle. From our intro, Indian removal act was good because A, it freed up land for our country, B, it got rid of conflicts between citizens and Native Americans, and C, the Native Americans were in our land and they were pretty much their own nation and they weren't fallen by our laws. Now, as you can see on this map, we got a pretty sizable amount of land, which included Nashville and Georgia, which were two pretty important cities, and we were able to inhabit the East Coast in its entirety. And we were also able to expand further southward, which would boost our economy later with slaves and cotton. Point B got rid of conflict between citizens and Native Americans, but we, the act gave them new land and freed the, them from the conflicts of the state. And as you can see on this map, the Native Americans were in the center of all of our states, which if we move them west, then we wouldn't have all conflicts all the states. And we paid for the revision of housing materials that they would need on their journey. So for point C, um, their Cherokee Nation was inside of our nation, but they didn't uh, uh, follow our laws, and our laws didn't apply to them because they technically were not part of our country. So um, the Indian Removal Act was also an exchange for land um, because we technically didn't kick them out and make them homeless. We gave them a predetermined set of land on the other side of the Mississippi River. So therefore, it wasn't really a removal, but a land exchange, which was a win-win situation, which uh, means we wouldn't really have to deal with each other anymore.